It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. We've come a long way from where we began. Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. When I see you again. Why'd you have to leave so soon? Yeah. Why'd you have to go? Why'd you have to leave me when I needed you the most? Cause I don't really know how to tell you that I'm feeling much worse. Emma was born in 1938 here in Ramesh Kumar. She was the fourth child to Madame Abracharua and Mr. Ebenezer Kojo Odro Hammer. Emma is predeceased by both her parents, her siblings, Isia Santoa, George Hap, and John Hammond. She's survived by her older sister, Auntie Abba, her two children, Harold and myself, and four grandchildren, Adwa, Ama, Kwabna, and Kwame. We know many people will testify that Mama Emma was a great human being. Her commitment and dedication to the church was remarkable. I am lucky and honored to have known, been around you and called you my mother-in-law. You are well known for your kindness and extended support for anyone that called upon you in their times of need. Ma was our security and our inspiration. Um, a true child of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. She raised us with a lot of dignity, truthfulness, and loyalty. We'll always miss the sound of your voice, wisdom in your advice, your great sense of humor, your way of narrating stories that made them so funny. We'll laugh till our bellies hurt. Not having you in our midst is surreal. She lived her life in Christ, and we're confident that we will be with her again. Rest well, Ma, till we see each other again. We miss her dearly, but take comfort that our Nana Emma is resting peacefully. By the grace of God, Nana Emma, Yebeshia Biyom. It's been a long day without you, my friend, and I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. Ashes to ashes. We've come a long way from where we began.